Live from News 3, the Old Dominion Bull Court Press. It is March. It is madness, and it's conference tournament time. Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. We're getting you ready for the Monarchs matchup with Texas El Paso. That's coming up in just a little bit. Can ODU make what some may consider an improbable, improbable run and win four games in four days in Frisco? Well, the Monarchs certainly have not counted themselves out. Why Not Us has become the team's rallying cry in the locker room as they enter as the number five seed in the East. Jeff Jones and company entering as one of the hotter teams in Conference USA, wrapping up the regular season by winning three of their last four. League tournaments offer programs somewhat of a fresh start, especially those that may have fallen short in the regular season. So the Monarchs head into Frisco confident. I know we didn't have a year that everybody thought we were going to have, but why, not, why we can't still win it? Because I feel like we are still a favorite for us, and I lock them to be the favorite, so why not us to win, even though I think it's a bad year. One of the things that you know will make us a little bit different is that we, we have to remind ourselves of the of the, the things that we didn't do well so that we can learn from them and, and correct our mistakes so that you know during this tournament we can do a lot of things very well. Old Dominion last winning the CUSA tournament back in 2019. Well, we mentioned the strong finish to the regular season by the Monarchs and the squad capping it all off with the 68-64 win over the Eastern Division champs. ODU taking down Middle Tennessee this past weekend to close things out. A fitting send-off for Austin Trice, C.J. Kaiser, and A.J. Oliver, the three seniors. The Silver and Blue wrap up the season with a 7-2 record on their own floor in conference play. Old Dominion has won five of the last six meetings with the Blue Raiders. So, can that carry them into this week? We'll know soon enough as tip-off is a little more than an hour away, and Old Dominion will be looking to avenge uh, a, a, one of the more painful losses of the season, one taking place on their home floor almost two months ago. UTEP marking the Monarchs' first opponent in the league playoff. The Silver and Blue holding a seven-point lead with a minute 17 left during the regular season meeting back in January, only to see the Miners storm back, force overtime, and hand them an eight-point loss. Soli Boom, who ends up as the league's leading scorer, dropping 28 to fuel El Paso in that win, while Austin Trice going for 19 points and 20 boards in the defeat. Tonight, a chance for some revenge to keep this season alive. The disappointment of, uh, you know, having, uh, you know, come back, uh, you know, kind of taking the lead, look, look, things looking good for us, uh, and then letting it slip out of our hands. You know, first going into overtime, uh, and then second in overtime, you know, they just outplayed us. Uh, I, I think that was a very disappointing loss, a tough one for us. I hope that we're more confident. We know what it takes to win. I think earlier in the year, it was more random of how it took to win, but now that we know we have a formula to win, so that's what we got to do. Not too much longer to wait for this one. Tip-off scheduled for approximately 9 p.m. Eastern out in Frisco. Let's get you caught up on the action going on right now down there at the Star. Rice and Charlotte, the first men's game of the day. The Owls looking to end the 49ers season up five as they approach 10 minutes to go. Marshall and Louisiana Tech at the half with the favored Bulldogs holding a five-point advantage. Now still to come, one Monarch earns his spot on the All-Conference USA team. We'll tell you about the resume that helps get Austin Trice on an exceptional list of players. That's coming up when the Old Dominion Full Court Press continues right after this. Dominion Bull Court Press. Well, you could argue once conference play starting, it would be hard to find a consistent, strong performer like Austin Trice. This past Monday, the senior rewarded for his efforts. Uh, let's take a look. Trice earning all conference second team honors, though I think you could probably make a strong first team argument for the forward. Trice posting 13 points and nine boards per game, but once league play beginning, he's elevated his game, averaging 16 and a half points and 11.6 rebounds per outing. His 11 double-doubles are the most in Conference USA. Trice last, six year, uh, last year's sixth man of the award, uh, league sixth man of the year award winner and moving into the starting lineup prior to ODU's second conference game against Texas San Antonio. Let's take one last look at Old Dominion statistical leaders. C.J. Kaiser ends the regular season at the top of the Monarchs scoring list. Trice a point behind the senior guard Kalu Izikbe with more than 11 per outing. To the glass we go, where Trice second in Conference USA with nine rebounds per contest, 
Zeke Bay right there as well. Seven rebounds per outing mark with Long just below at 6.7 average. Now to assist, Jalen Hunter has been a solid ball distributor all, all season long. He tops the list in this category for the Monarchs. Kaiser and Ezekiel Bay both getting it done as well at rates among the tops on the squad. Let's talk defense. Long continues to lead the Monarchs in steals per game, eclipsing one and a half per contest. Hunter, the only other player on the ODU roster that tallies more than one steal per game on average. And we wrap things up with time on the court. Hunter and Kaiser topping the minutes chart, seeing plenty of action each night. Long rounds out the top three, still seeing plenty of time out there for the silver and blue. Kaiser and Trice both gone after this year, so what will these lists look like next season? I guess we'll find out as time moves on. All right, now the Monarchs focused on the conference tournament, but we did learn some information about next season's schedule. Old Dominion part of November's Charleston Classic Field. It joins Virginia Tech, Penn State, Davidson, South Carolina, Colorado State, Furman, and College of Charleston in the event. The Monarchs last in this tournament back in 2017. This marks back-to-back -back years in which the squad takes part in a multi-team event in South Carolina. This season, the silver and blue tipping off in the Myrtle Beach Invitational. And that is all the time we have tonight on the Old Dominion Full Court Press. ODU and UTEP get going at approximately 9 o'clock this evening.